Hi there. Uh, my name is Jim Cooley. I'm a professor of aviation. And these videos are going to be uh, showing you how to do these statistical procedures, these tests, and some uh, graphing uh, in our studio. That's the whole point. I'm not going to talk about um, the all the assumptions so much and the underpinnings and the maths behind the statistical test, but instead just get you what you need um, to get you going for those tests in R. And uh, and so what we're looking at here is our studio. Now you need R, which is different software, downloaded and installed because that is the engine. Our studio just is a more user um, uh, friendly interface for you to write the code which which communicates with R. So you need R downloaded, installed, then R studio, which is what you're looking at here. Um, and so to start any project, um, what you want to do is uh, create a new project, open the file, um, and set your working directory. So I'm going to show you some of that right now. Um, so yeah, you can go um, right here. You can say, hey, new R script, which is something that you may see. Um, and in which case, you wouldn't see this, which is called a YAML header. This has the um, kind of title, my name. Um, this is code to uh, have today's date, you know, and all these, these are code chunks. You're not going to have that with the R script. This is called an R markdown file, which is what I'm going to exclusively teach in because uh, of many reasons. So anyway, let's start that new project. Let's get that going. And what that'll do is close the, the project that I currently have open. We'll say new project. Um, uh, you want you probably want a folder called our directory and um, yeah and so we could just put um, we could right here we could say um, you know test boom put it put it in test open let's call it um, uh, test you know markdown create project boom this will close and then that'll open it up then you see that the code chunks uh, go away in the console tab right here, expands. And a couple more things about that <clears throat> before we wrap up this video. And that is um, the four window panes. You can adjust where they are. And some people, um, experienced coders, will just, for instance, um, use two window panes. Um, but anyway, I use all four. And what I'll typically do is pull out the coding um, uh, window on its own window. Uh, monitor computer monitor of mine okay so you have the environment that's where all the data frames and vectors are going to reside we'll cover what those words mean in a bit um this files tab this is where this is the location that i just created you saw me do it this project lives um <clears throat> plots as you make graphs they're going to show up here um packages here a lot of times there's packages that get updated. So this R Studio software will get updated and oftentimes the um, packages need to get updated along with them. Sometimes not. And sometimes the packages are just updated on their own. What is a package? A package is uh, a bundle. Uh, it's a software bundle that specifically interacts with R Studio that does specific things. So you can see here, A bind. What does it do? Combine multi-dimensional arrays. Uh, you know, and then you can look at uh, BH, boost C++ header files, whatever that means. So um, uh, there's a lot of uh, packages that are stock, and then there's a whole list of them that I'm going to show you. Um, so there's a couple different ways to install it. You can install it just using code, or you can say like, oh man, I need, um, you know, ggplot2. And then you can see how it kind of fills in. Um and then it'll download. Or if I need to update, there's going to be quite a few. Yeah, let's see if there's any that I use regularly, and I'll just show you. Uh, eh, sort of don't use that. Oh, yeah, let's use this. Okay, so that, that's relevant. So, and that's all you do. You click it, and then you hit updates. And then there's in the console, the code runs and it's communicating with the internet. Um, there was one thing I wanted to show. So, yeah. 
Couple of different options to install from. You can just leave it repository CRAN and then install from library uh, to, to library. Just leave it where you have your R Studio. Don't don't. I would suggest not monkeying with it, and I would suggest um, clicking install dependencies. We could cover what that is, but let's not for the sake of simplicity. Okay. Um, if you need help, this is actually pretty impressive. There's all sorts of. Um, what did I type in? Effect size. Let's see if we get something for it. Yeah. Boom. And then you can learn all about things. There's example code. Let's go back. Let's see. Yeah, here's example code right here. Like T test. And it shows you the arguments. So this would be the code with all the options um, written out. This is like, um, this. May, if you're brand new to R coding, then this doesn't mean much to you. And that is okay for now. That is okay. Don't, don't be scared. Okay, um, so yeah, that's that, the, that's the main stuff that you need to know. The last thing I'm gonna show you in this video is how to um, set your working directory. What is a working directory? It is where your project files and your project file itself, so this this what you're looking at, this is an R markdown file, that's where that's gonna reside, but then you're also gonna be producing a whole bunch of graphs, ideally. <clears throat> where do those graphs live? They should live in the working directory. What about data? That also goes in the working directory. And I'm going to show you technique of where, uh, where to put, um, how to kind of label and make your own conventions for uh, workflow efficiencies um, in the working directory. But anyway, there's several, of course, like many things in R, there's many ways to set your work, working directory. I'm going to show you this. So it's just the gear, hit gear, more. Um, and you, we're going to set this folder as the working directory. And here's a, a foreshadowing hint. You get you get the code needed in the console tab. You get the code needed to set the working directory there and you can just copy it. And so what I will always do is have that at the top of my, um, towards the top of my um, R markdown code for the sake of simplicity. So I don't have to go to the files tab you know, make sure I'm in the right location that I want, gear, more, set as working directory. Okay, so in this video, we kind of did a very uh, brief overview of uh, just kind of how to get going and what we're even looking at in our studio.